Well, at the beginning of the year, the Grammy-winning New York Youth Symphony launched a brand new program called Crescendo. The 44-piece string orchestra made up to 10 to 18-year-old New Yorkers aims to show off the diversity of the city and give a musical voice to underrepresented composers, including women, people of color, and members of the LGBTQ community. The final concert of their inaugural season is happening this Sunday at Carnegie Hall. Sound great. Joining me now to talk about it is the executive director of the New York Youth Symphony, John Kilkenny, Crescendo's music director, Tanya Chanpanit-Pankit, and one of the members, Valentina Navoa. Welcome. Great to be here. Thank you so much. I just wanted to hear the music. It sounds so good. Okay, John, how would you characterize Crescendo's very first season? Sure. Well, I'm new to the New York Youth Symphony, and the very first rehearsal I went to was Crescendo. I wanted to see those students right from the beginning of my tenure, and I think that it's fair to say that we have exceeded all expectations from our trustees, for our music musical staff. Everybody's just blown away by the level of playing and the teamwork and the way that they're creating really wonderful music together as a team in this first year. It's it's hard to put a group together yeah. in, in the first year, and it's just incredible, so we're thrilled. And Tanya, I know that you had a certain goal for the program, including, you know, representation. So how ha have you done with that? Well, the representation really is the heartbeat of Crescendo. Uh, I'm so incredibly proud of the work that we've done. We are serving the kids of New York City, like Valentina <laughs> here, and um, we are making sure that the program continues to be free. We are uplifting the voices of uh, people of color and women. Um, and you know, this first concert is going to be such a celebration of all the incredible hard work that the students have done this year. Valentina. What has it been like to be part of Crescendo? Because, the, I mean, you started in the, um, during the pandemic. Yeah, so I started playing viola during the pandemic, but Crescendo has just been a really welcoming program, like the conductor and all the, <laughs> um, my stand partners and just everyone there, super nice and welcoming, just understanding. And, you, I mean, I, you actually started with violin when you're really little. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so what is it like to play in this group? It's really, it's a really cool experience. Like, I didn't really know how far I'd get, like, switching from violin to viola and pandemic. I didn't know if it was, like, a bump, but it, it's just great. Aww. And at time to this weekend's performance, it is called A Night of Ascension. So what can people expect? Oh, we're going to have such a fun time. We're going to start with a piece um, by Bologna, a composer that is underrepresented in the classical music. Um, the students are playing a piece called by Handel that is going to feature uh, two oboists, Andreas Ayola and William Jew. And we're also going to finish it all off with um, a Von Willen piece where we're going to feature a grand Grammy Award winning Azuri Quartet as well. The students have worked extremely hard. This mm -hmm. is going to be a great celebration. We're just so excited for the students to share their music at Carnegie Hall. That's huge. And John, what do you see for the future of Crescendo? Well, the immediate future is to sell out our concert, so we hope to see everybody there on Sunday. Uh, but more long-term, we want to continue to grow both the size of the program and the, the students that are represented and make sure that we are really reaching into all of the communities in the five boroughs of New York uh, to get every student that wants the opportunity to work with the New York Youth Symphony to have that opportunity. I mean, the artists... The level is so high, and we want to make sure that we're getting to every student and giving them that chance. And, and what, do, what do people do if they're watching and they want to get involved? Well, please visit our website, follow mm -hmm. us on Facebook and Instagram, uh, come to the concert on Sunday, and to learn more about how they could support Crescendo or they can get their child or uh, student involved in Crescendo, all of that information will be on our website very soon. And Valentina, what would you say to other young musicians like yourself who are thinking about applying to Crescendo? I would say yes. It's, <laughs> do it's it. Just, just do it. It's it's a great experience. Everyone there is just amazing, and like, there's nothing that could go wrong if you do apply. Aw, I just love that's awesome. your smile. <laughs> really Thank do. you. Thank you so much for being here and for and for starting this program. It sounds great. We're thrilled. We're really excited about it. We can't wait to see how much we can accomplish with these great musicians. All right. Have a wonderful performance. Break a leg. Again, A Night of Ascension is this Sunday. It's April 21st at 3 p.m. at Tell me how you say it. Zankel. Zankel. Zankel Hall at Carnegie Hall. You can find tickets and more information at nyys.org slash events.